What I would like to uh, do is start with April 25. That was the day the earthquake happened. The next day, I woke up early and walked to Kathmandu Darbar Square, which is one of the heritage sites where I grew up uh, very close to. All the big temples were gone or damaged. The whole square was full of neatly piled bricks and wooden crossbars. As I stood there, I slowly walked around the piles trying to recall what was there before. As I walked around, I noticed a gaping hole in the landscape, where once stood the oldest building, the Kastamanda, for which the city Kathmandu was named after, remained an empty space. The entire square was full of, was cordoned off and guarded by the army to protect, to protect the important artifacts. I walked around feeling lost. An eerie silence seemed to fill the area. I just want to uh, end with this because this picture became the defining picture uh, for uh, the earthquake efforts. This was a four-month baby which was found in, the, found in the rubble by the army, and I think uh, when they when she was uh, brought out, this was a moment of joy. And I think that's where I want to end with a little bit of the hope, because that's what uh, uh, people have right now. And uh, rebuilding is something they have started psychologically and physically. And, uh,